Hey, Jeff from Gold Crease here. Welcome to our video about glove break-in today. This is one of our uh, most commonly asked questions. It's about time we addressed it. Give you guys some tips to work on your gloves at home. A lot of goalies break in the glove poorly or they do it wrong. It makes it hard for us as coaches. We're kind of sick of it. So I'm just going to give you some pointers. Uh, basically, the glove is a, it's a fragile piece. Like your blocker isn't going to bend out of shape. It's not going to break down. This has moving parts that you kind of have to take care of. Number one thing I, I recommend goalies, don't just throw it in your bag and pile a bunch of gear on top of it. Get it shut in, a, in the position you like, the angle you like, and keep it secured shut, all right? Even if you just fold it like this, tuck it nicely in the side of your bag, that's a start. Even better, do some things to really help keep the shape, okay? A softball is a decent tool. Stick that right in the pocket, close it, kind of keeps the, the webbing area from getting smushed. It can also help keep a nice open palm. It sort of stretches right here sometimes on the edge of the pocket in a way that gives it a nice little shape. Okay, and then get it shut. Um, sometimes just a stick right in the palm or a puck right in the palm and then close it. Okay, and people use straps or laces, things like that. Um, here's a simple tip. Take a practice jersey. You probably got 10 of these in your bag. Grab it by the sleeves, kind of hold it hugged in your arms. Pull it tight in a half knot. And there you go. It's shut. Okay, and it's not going to get bent out of shape. It helps the break in process a little bit, but mostly it helps prevent improper wear and tear. All right? So that's first tip. Now, to really get it broken in, heat helps. We use a skate oven, uh, basically just an oven set at like, I don't know what it is, at 180, 200. It's pretty low temp and it's got a fan, so it circulates the air. Um, if you have a convection oven at home, not convention, but convection, you can use that. Steam, heat from uh, the, the shower, uh, a little bit of hot water maybe. I wouldn't do the we don't like to saturate the glove in water. That might break down some of the materials, make it feel more crusty over time. But heat does help. Heat it and work it. Now when you're working it, so you want the, the palm to break in. You want this to soften up a little bit, but also some certain spots in the T. A lot of gloves, it's right here. This edge of the T, you want to work that in. Get that to soften up right there and in both directions. Open, closed, pushing, getting that to soften up right in here and other spots in the T, okay? Along those lines, you don't just want it to break in closed, you want it to break in open. Some gloves get stuck in kind of a skinny position, okay? especially if you're closing it all the time. Certain gloves will have that tendency. So taking an object that stretches it out is a good idea too, okay? Maybe you rotate between keeping it closed or open. In the bag, closed is better. Take it out of the bag and stretch it out sometimes. Now, a lot of goalies see this online, they're stretching it out right from the edge of the tee to the tee, okay? This is the top of the tee. I like to go a little lower, a little lower in here, giving a little curl, a little shape to this side where the fingers are. I feel like that gives the glove some better balance. Um, I don't, if it gets too straight right there, it feels longer, heavier. I'm not as quick with my movements and a little harder to get it to seal here on the closure, okay? This is a 590. 590s are, are easy. We, we don't see a lot of people breaking in a 590 poorly. 580s might be even easier, okay? This sucker, North Star's color's barely been used. Snap shut, no problem, okay? All we did to break this in was just stretch it a little bit. One of these objects, okay? These, these are almost foolproof. If you're having trouble breaking in a glove and you're thinking about a new one, I recommend looking at a 580, okay, people? Now, like I said, some other tips at home. Do this. Sit around, open and close. Do a lot of this. Over and over and over, especially when you get it heated up. A lot of this, and get it on the ice and play with it. Get it on your hand. Keep open and close until your hand is tired. A lot of ways, get it like this. Just whatever motion you can do with it, Get that thing moving it's going to break in faster now we also have here some gloves that are broken in poorly 
Okay, here's a junior. We see a lot of juniors have have a problem with this. This is a E Flex 4.5 junior. Some kid with little hands. The best you could do is squeeze it like that. Now, if I put my hand all the way in there, I can't do much better. This thing is bent out of shape right in here. This edge of the, the thumb mold, where the plastic mold covers the thumb, that poly material, kind of bulging out right here. You can see that shadow line. It should be more open right there. So this is this type of glove. What really would have helped this to break in properly is get something in the palm for storage, keep that open, and that wouldn't have bent out of shape so much, okay? Now, the other thing with these 600 brakes, you see this angle right there. This sucker is really stiff right here. If we get that to soften up, now you can get full closure, okay? That's hard for a kid, okay? These junior gloves are meant for like nine, 10 year olds. They wouldn't be able to close it even though I can, but, if you really get it hot, work the heck out of that area, get it shut at a proper angle. Oh, another tip, we, we use a lot of clamps around here. Okay, and what I do to refurbish a lot of these bent out of shape gloves, I used to think they were just broken. They're not broken in, they're broken down. They're not worth anything. I figured out some of these old broken down gloves, we can reshape it, get it to close properly, heat it up really well, work with it a little bit, clamp it shut again, stick it in the freezer for like 12 hours. Let it thaw for an hour, it comes out usually 10 times better. So I'm gonna post some of these on a little before and after video. You can look for a follow up and see how good some of these turned out. Here's a 590 that was broken in poorly. Like I said, it's almost never happens with a 590. Something to consider here, there's a lesson here. It's closing like this. It doesn't, it's getting a pinch right here. There's two sides to the, the break, all right? You got the finger side and the thumb side, okay? This goalie was breaking it in, trying to close it just on the thumb side, okay? Most of these gloves are meant, they're gonna close better if you get it to bend more on this side of the break where the fingers are, closer to the fingertips, okay? And so if you look at how it shuts when I do that, the thumb overlaps the fingers just a little bit, or at least get it even. This one, the way the kid broke it in, if you look, it's kind of overlapping on the wrong side. The fingers overlapping the thumb. I want that thumb to stick out on this side. That means it's bending more here. So again, if this goalie had taken better care of it, if you put a, yeah, that works perfect on this. If I put a softball in there, then close it with two hands, that palm feels much better. I can feel it. It has more of a U shape. It's closing on both sides, a little more on the finger side. I'm gonna clamp that shut. We kept it stored like this for the life of the glove and I got my clamp at the wrong angle. There we go. I gotta grab a different clamp or the, use the jersey. But I'll be able to refurbish this. This goalie could have taken much better care of it and would have broken in way better than it is right now. Okay? Those are the basic tips, people. Real quick. Here's a Bauer Jr. M5 Pro. Maybe that's intermediate. Similar kind of pinching right here. Okay? If we stretch that out in here with a puck or a, an object, it's going to feel better. Sometimes I take a little wedge put it down here that'll stretch it out get that to open up a little bit of both opening and closing a little bit of bacon and heat maybe some freezing this thing will come out much better those are our break-in tips for the day check out the follow-up video if you want to see some of these before and afters oh i got one more give us a like or a follow if you're into this stuff so you remember to watch the other videos this thing doesn't look so bad it feels super crusty on the inside, this is the stiffest 590 I think I've ever felt. It's an intermediate 2.9, but watch the before and after on this one. This thing is brutal right now. The 590 should come out much better. Thanks for watching.